What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today it's Monday and it's uh, uh, afternoon, it's one something o'clock. And uh, today's a new week, it's the fifth week of the game game series. This week is a deload week, which pretty much means I'm gonna train three times this week instead of six. And I'm also gonna train like half, or like 60, 70% of my strength, what I've usually used as a weight. So um, deal a week is a perfect week to recover, to have your body recover from all the hard work that you put in the last four weeks. Um, you're still active, you still you know get your muscles active uh, for the week, um, for three days. But this week is perfectly planned for me this time. So last time we did a bench, uh, deadlift PR, a bench press PR, and I also squatted 100 kilos for six times, which I've never done before, since I've used the belt, um, which I'm gonna make a video on soon. So that was all in one week. So my body is pretty much, it, it can need some rest because I feel a little bit, my, my collarbone, as you guys know, if you guys know already, but I broke my collarbone a couple of years ago and um, I kind of have like a weird kind of vibe-ish in my shoulder since I did the 100 kilo bench press. And yesterday during the soccer game, I made like a crazy, uh, like a weird movement with my shoulder. So I have like right here on like in between the front and the medial delt, I have like a little bit of an uh, like annoying like pain. So I'm not going to train today because today was going to be a push day, but I'm not going to do that because um, yeah, I don't want to, you know, ruin anything. But today we're going to talk about three secrets for bulking, you know, you know um, Sometimes getting your calories in and, and being smart about what you eat is very, very hard since you don't know really exactly uh, what to eat. Um, but now I'm going to show you guys. Well, the, the first secret thing that I eat that has been helping me tremendously on this bulk so far, and that's burgers. So previously, when I was like leanish bulking, I always ate either chicken or turkey. Can I focus on my face, please? Thank you. Uh, chicken or turkey and every once in a while I ate the burger since kind of to switch up the taste or even like steak I ate steak uh, which is also great but man this little package has been helping me so much on my books there's four so two for each day the main problem for me always has been getting my fats in because I was always eating very clean meals like rice chicken with some vegetables and it had some, the quark obviously at night, which has zero fat and like little carbs and a lot of protein. So my protein has never been a problem. My carbs, not really, but I could do better. But my fats has always been a very big problem. I'm not like, I cannot just spoon some um, peanut butter in my mouth and like eat hella fucking fats. That's why I switched completely to burgers. Every burger is 100 grams. So every one of these patties is 100 grams. So you have two in every meal, every day. So that makes 200 grams, but I'll just go over it per 100 grams. It's 19 grams of fat, which is 19% of my daily intake. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm aiming for 100 grams of fat every day, which is 900 calories. So 900 calories comes from fat alone in my diet, which is almost a third of my complete diet. So um, it's pretty high. It's the, 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 the main thing, the main, main reason why I'm eating burgers is the, obviously for the 19 grams of fat. Two burgers is 38 grams of fat, which is 38% of my daily intake already in one meal, which is an easy meal. It's uh, delicious, it tastes good, and it's, it's an easy meal to make. Uh, it doesn't cost too much time, it's very efficient. So uh, this has been my first secret thing that I've been doing and it's been helping me a lot. Stay tuned for the second because it's even more enjoyable. So this morning I woke up, I did some client work, I emailed all of you guys that have been working with me personally. Every Monday I always email the people that are on my, my online coaching, I always email them and to see how they're doing, how their plans are going, how their macros are, how their training are going, if they have any questions. So I did that all this morning. I sent out some new plans for some new people that have joined. There are still some spots, by the way. The, um, the spots, the limited spots thing was really for, to make sure there weren't, weren't too many people so um, that I couldn't give enough attention to anyone in the beginning. But now uh, it's a lot more controlled. So I have more spots open now for everyone who wants to join. And I have one question for you guys regarding the online coaching thing. If you are interested 
in having a custom workout plan made by me, but you don't really want the online coaching thing, it's maybe it's too much money, or maybe you don't really need it or really want it, do you guys want me to just have the option on the website to just purchase a custom workout plan for me? It's obviously for less money since the online coaching thing doesn't come uh, with that. But if that's something you guys want me to do on the website, please let me know in the comment section down below because I can easily do that. And um, yeah, if it helps some of you guys more, I'm all for it, you know? So. I'm not gonna cook my burgers now because they're kind of burning. <laughs> By the way, this doesn't really count as one secret food, but olive oil, just to make sure, if you cook in olive oil, it's 91 grams of fat per 100. This is pretty much fat in the bottle. So if you cook with it, also add some fat to it. It's amazing. Disclaimer, don't drink olive oil. Just don't do that. Uh, all right, second secret food. This, this is one of the biggest mistakes that I made at the beginning since I didn't realize this. I did not realize that this was an option. So you guys know that I've been eating quark every night and every after every training. So um, what quark pretty much is, is like a dairy product, has a lot of protein, in it. it's very low on fat, also very low on carbs, but it's like one tub has like 50 grams of protein. So it's great, I love it. I eat it every day, I've been since like I started. So. I found out that there's also a very high fat one. So this is that one. This tub is half a liter or half a kilo, 500 milliliters. It has, I'm just gonna tell you, because you're gonna be stunned, per 100 grams, which is, this is 500, so every time, time, everything times five. Eight grams of fat times five is 40. Eight grams of protein times five is 40 as well. And carbs, 4.0 per 100, which makes 20 if we do it times five. So 20 carbs, 40 protein, 40 fats. So we had the burgers, right? 38 grams of fats. And then we have this, which is another 40, which gives us already 78 grams of fat of the 100 that we're aiming to get every single day. In just two things. It, like, it doesn't make sense. It's so easy. This is like the secret weapon, <laughs> for me at least. Go in your supermarket, find something like this, like a cottage cheese dairy product that has a lot of fats and a lot of protein in it. I'm gonna enjoy it with some you know, sweeteners because just like this, it's disgusting. You don't want to be eating this. Um, well, I think it's disgusting personally, so I'm gonna add a little sweetener and then uh, we'll get to eating. And now finally, the third and last food. This one is just easy, tastes good, and you can take it whatever and wherever you want. It's a Snickers bar. Um, a Snickers bar, man. 11 grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs, 4.3 grams of protein. So obviously you don't take this um, for the proteins. But, so first things first, I always eat a Snickers right before uh, the gym. I always walk to the gym, drink my pre-record, eat a Snickers, because the Snickers really fills me up. Like for an hour, hour and a half, like I really feel full. So uh, I always make sure I eat it before uh, my gym session because I know I'll feel full and energized uh, during my workout session if I eat a Snickers. If I eat it during any other time of the day, I kind of restrict myself from eating other meals because it fills me up that much. So, because after work, I'm obviously really hungry again since I worked out quite hard. If you were having troubles, you know, meeting your macros, meeting your fat macros, for example, mine is 100. We had the quark, which is 40. We had the burgers, 38, so 78, and then 11 grams of fats in these carbs, which takes us to 89 grams of fat already. I mean, the 10 grams of fat, we can take that from whatever, wherever, and that shouldn't be a problem at all for us. So yeah, man, it's super, super easy. These three secret foods for fats that you could eat. Let me know if you wanna see this on carbs and protein, because I would love to make a video like this again on carbs and protein. Again, it's quite easy. We're bulking, we're going well. If you want some gains and you're tired of not gaining any weight and you're hopeless and you don't know what to eat, up those fats and get going and get grown. See you guys later. Deuces!